Hi everybody, it's me, Sherry D, and I am sharing with you my wellness toolbox. This wellness toolbox has been compiled over quite a few years of personal passion in the exercise industry, and then out of necessity in the last eight years since I was diagnosed with a deadly fungal infection. So through the last eight years in my recovery and re-strengthening my immune system, I have compiled quite a few tools that I would like to share with you. So today's topic is A for attitude and approach. I would like to share with you how important attitude is whenever we're seeking any kind of recovery, wellness program, life change, mindset change, you name it. Our thought process, our attitude can change everything. So um, I wanted to share a quick story with you. Back when I was still pretty ill, I think I was pretty much bedridden, pretty much Monday through Friday. I rested so that way on the weekends I could go out and be social and look pretty normal, you know, within a six hour window. People never knew I was suffering from an illness. My husband used to tell me stories about how he would be talking to people and he would be telling them, oh, my sick wife, yeah, my wife is sick, yeah, I have to take care of my sick wife. And, and I kept hearing my sick wife and it started to, I felt the burden. I felt as if my husband having a sick wife was a burden and I don't want to be a burden to anybody and I know that he didn't feel that I was a burden but I'm just talking about natural human emotion and so I had a chat with him and bless his heart he heard what I was saying and he understood I asked him I said honey rather than referring to me as your sick wife can we maybe just say that your wife suffers from an illness that happens to give her extreme fatigue, sensitivity to heat and cold, sensitivity to almost all foods and toxins and you know sensitive, sensitive sensitivities to a lot. And that illness was being controlled with a medication. And so I told him, I said, basically it's like a diabetic. You know, they control their illness with a medication. So rather than saying that I am sick, my wife is sick. That is claiming the sickness is mine. And I just don't want to claim it. So I can say that I have an illness, but you know what? I can fight that illness and I can do everything in my power to strengthen my immune system so my immune system can fight the illness, which was my approach. So that takes me to part two of today's topic, A for approach. My approach for my wellness toolbox, number one, was strengthening my immune system. So I sought out all the vitamins and minerals and rest and mindset about strengthening the immune system, therefore it can fight this illness that I was infected with. So uh, that is my topic talk for today. I will elaborate more on my approach in another video, but I just wanted to share with you today about our mindset, about keeping the right attitude about healing. The body and the mind is an amazing, amazing creation. Think about when they do drug studies and placebos are offered, where people can still get improvements when they are only given a placebo because they think that they're taking medication and just that you think that you are healing, you are taking the first step towards healing. All right, so a thought for the day, keep your thoughts positive and positive things will come back to you. So thanks for joining me. Another piece of advice that I would love to share with you that is a pretty vital piece of my toolbox is this, be kind and gentle to yourself. I was told many years ago when I was encompassing on this journey of wellness of mine, my therapist at the time who helped me deal with living with a chronic illness, she told me this. She said, Sherry, be kind and gentle to yourself. And I said, gee, that's a good idea. Because I'll tell you what, I didn't have a habit of being kind and gentle to myself. I used to work myself 12-hour days to the core, physically. 
and then the mental on top of it. So being kind and gentle to yourself is a vital tool for our wellness toolbox because if you are not kind and gentle to yourself, people are going to find it very hard to be kind and gentle to you. They're not going to think you need it. Even though we want to be tough and show how strong we are, it's one thing to be strong, but we can also be gentle. Okay, so don't overdo it. Don't take on more than you can handle. Pace yourself. Be gentle. Be kind. Put yourself first. Put your rest first and your immune strength first. So that's the right attitude and the right approach. Be kind and gentle to yourself.